Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So you guys, this is our weekly grocery haul. We have a smorgasbord of things in this haul. And yes, do your eye, do you spy with your little eye another turkey? You do, but this turkey, again, is not for our household. This turkey was on a deal. Spend $40, get a turkey for 29 cents a pound. I'm not passing up a turkey deal. I wish I had more room in my freezer because Tom would come live at my house. But I don't have any room, so I'm going to find him a home. I've already put it out to a few people to see if anybody needed a turkey. But it's no need for there to be such a great deal like that and miss up on a turkey. So this turkey is 22.06 pounds. And I paid... Um, six dollars and 55 cents total price without the vic is 43.90 i paid 6.55 and again i just saw kimmy talking about turkeys and so listen when you can find a deal like this snag it and what i was thinking is as the holidays move on and i'm on break um because this is the third turkey so one turkey has a home i'm looking for a home for this turkey but i still have another turkey so what I'm going to do with that other turkey is I'm going to, when I'm on break for the winter, for Christmas break, thaw it, roast it, and then I'm going to cut it up for meat and then have that meat in um, my freezer portioned out and ready for meals. So that's what I'm going to do with one of the turkeys. The other two turkeys I am getting rid of or finding homes for. So that was just one of the things that I did pick up. I know people are like, oh my gosh, she bought a third turkey. I didn't buy it for me uh so that there that is um i bought milk for the kids almond milk one likes unsweet and one likes vanilla so i buy one of each and they work it out toilet paper remember a couple weeks ago i was saying in my pantry i have a ton of paper towels um and but no but very little toilet paper so i've got stock up on toilet paper this was 459 so i picked that up milk was not on sale it was 329 so i did still get two of them could have found this a little bit cheaper at walmart um they were six dollars and 19 cents for 30. you can get 60 for 11 dollars and 37 cents but i was not at walmart i was at teeter so i wasn't going to go to another store so i took that little hit on that sweet potatoes were 25 cents a pound I got eight pounds of sweet potatoes. I think I paid a little bit over $2. These marshmallows were 99 cents each. And so I'm trying to find a home for the turkey and this right here. Right, find a home for that. I needed some more napkins for Saturday. They were $2. Butter was a little bit cheaper at Aldi at $2.49, but I wasn't going to Aldi. That would have been another stop. And it is 7.30 and I'm just getting home. So uh three ninety nine I went with that and lived my best life. Storage bags, three uh they were two for five. Snack bags were a dollar seventy nine, and then trash bags for forty were six dollars and change. Picked up a uh classic yellow cake mix. This is for cornbread. Uh that was a dollar twenty five. Uncle Ben's long grain white rice. I got this for my grandma. She likes rice. And there may be some other people who like rice. The people that are coming with her are used to her making rice. So we're doing buttered rice. And that was $5.29 for two pounds. I don't normally buy white rice. But I figured what I don't use, Jackson will eat. Um, these townhouse crackers are for dipping. I'm making a cranberry salsa as well as the peach pepper jam. So I'm going to kind of do like a charcuterie board with the crackers. Kind of, sort of, something like. And put the um, cream cheeses in with each respective whatever so that was um 5.49 buy one get one free so i bought one and then the cheese it's the pepper jam cheese it's which is going to go for that board as well were buy one get one free and i don't remember the price um whipped topping this was the cheapest one I, they had like a 249 this is for the coffee bar um sugar and flour things we normally don't buy but I am trying to do some more jams, but they didn't have the peaches and they didn't have the strawberries. But I picked up the sugar anyway, because it was $1.47 for four pounds, picked up two. And then the flour, because Jackson loves to cook, um, all purpose, five pounds. And then self-rising, they were $1.47 as well, picked up two of those. This was a max of four. You could get four of these, four of these, or two of each. So that's how I did that. Picked up a thing of cilantro for the cranberry relish or cranberry salsa. 
and the green onions that is also for the cranberry salsa. So let me share with you what, um, let me show you something that Jackson did and then we'll sit down and talk about uh, meal plans and those types of things. So my son is very much enjoying his culinary class and here is what he made uh, tonight. Tonight, Jackson has made uh, pretzels. Jackson, did you did you boil these? Um, I added about 10 cups of water to two thirds of a cup of baking soda. Say it one more time with a shirt on, Lord have mercy. Right. 10 cups of water to two thirds of a cup of baking soda. 10 cups of water, two thirds of a cup of baking soda. Yes, we have dishes, but not for long. Okay, so that's what Jackson made before I even got home. Um, he did that. And um, so now the kids are gonna put up groceries. I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about meal plans moving forward. All right, y'all, so let's chat a little bit about food, right? So I spent $73. I had a $40 budget, so I went over by $33, but no worry, it was covered, no problem. I don't plan to shop next week. I don't actually plan to shop for the next two weeks if I can help it. With the small um, exception of like milk, fresh veggies if, if we need them, but I don't, I think we'll be okay. So I don't plan to shop anymore uh, for the remainder of this month. We have all the groceries that we need. Anywho, we're not gonna need a lot of groceries. Um, I know somebody else is gonna say, well, Shakima, you spent a lot on Friendsgiving. You had a $100 budget, and I did. But here's what I think. My dad's never been to my house. My grandma's never been to my home. My cousin and her niece and nephew have never been to my home. Some friends of mine that are coming, although we've met in a town over from where I live have never been to my home. And I believe that you should have hospitality. I think you should have grand hospitality. Jesus did everything big. I don't know that he did anything small. And so why would I do it any, any differently? So I'm gonna go all out. It's one meal, that's okay. Um, it's one meal that I hope that they forget that is memorable. It's gonna be one meal that I hope that people will uh, leave here and, and um, talk about the hospitality that my kids and I showed. It's one meal that I hope that we get a chance to show forth the love of Christ to whomever needs it. And so that's how I'm living that best life, right? I'm not gonna think about how much money I had to spend. I would have spent it on something. Good thing it wasn't the drive-through, right? I mean, praise God. So I'm gonna live that life. Um, but I, I have everything done. My menu is done. I mean, the menu is perfect. I'm not adding anything to the menu. Um, I did make sure that I went through all of my recipes. So I pulled every recipe that I needed. I have the um, 40 garlic chicken. That's Ina Garten or the Barefoot Contessa. I have the Easy Crock Pot cranberry sauce that I use every single time. Um, I have the strawberry dump cake recipe that I'm going to make. So that's that. I have the sweet and spicy jalapeno jam that's already made, but I just pulled the recipe anyway, just so I would have it for my reference. I've got the cranberry salsa recipe. I went to Becky from Acre Homestead, um, scratchpantry.com and pulled off her um, no need bread recipe. Jackson's gonna be making two of these. I went and picked up, this is a peach jalapeno jam glaze for the ham. So I pulled that off just to have. And then I also pulled off, I couldn't find the exact recipe that Kimmy did. It's her mother-in-law's um, easy cornbread recipe made with a cake mix, but I did find one online. Very simple, one yellow cake mix, um, two boxes of Jiffy, a third of milk, four eggs, five butters, and a cup of water. And bam, here it is, right? So everything that I'm gonna, as far as using recipes, I've already pulled, right? It makes perfect sense. Um, we have all of the dishes that we are gonna be using, all the servers we're gonna be using. 
we have all of the things that we need as far as getting this uh, big grandiose event together. And it seems like a lot. When I get in my kitchen and I start moving around, like it's not a lot. I do have to find a way, y'all. Listen to what I'm trying to do. Y'all pray for me. Somebody give me some ideas if you have it. So I have a roaster pan that has the rack that sits the turkey up. We're not having turkey, we're having chicken. And I'm doing five to six spats cock chickens, which means I am pulling the backbone out and I'm splaying them like this. So I have to find a way to get all of those chickens in my oven at the same time so that I can get them cooked, right? The 40 garlic chicken is what I'm trying to do. And I don't want to have to, um, I don't want to have to cut the chicken up. I want to be able to cook them whole or splayed. So what I'm thinking, because I've got that rack inside of the pan, is to see if I can take the legs and shove them down in between the grates so that the chicken stands up. That's what I'm thinking. Got to figure out how to work that, but I'm thinking about it. I figured if I have five or six of them and they start to do a little lean, right? Do the gangster lean, your chicken's doing the gangster lean. Hello. I, I felt like if I wedged them in there really good, that at least they would lean on each other. And then what I plan to do is baste them from the top down with the butter and the white wine, right? Baste them from the top down. And then I was planning to um, mince up all that garlic and um, uh, make a paste, right? I gotta go back and look at my recipe. That's my plan. Y'all pray for me because it is really my plan. And so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is try it. I'm gonna give it a try. If it doesn't work, that's okay. I can just put it, put, I know I can get three or four of them in the roaster pan and we'll just cook them that way and I'll just cover them with foil. We'll, um, I'll put another pan in there with, with chickens and it'll be perfectly fine. I'll put one in the crock pot if I need to. I'm gonna live my best life. I am gonna do yams, the yams we're gonna have. Now, as far as the next couple of days, we're cleaning out the fridge with leftovers. So we're trying not to cook a lot of stuff. We have, um, there's a little bit of hamburger soup left. We got spaghetti squash for tonight because we had some extra, um, we had some extra um, hamburger that we had cooked. So we made spaghetti squash for dinner. There's some beans and rice. Jackson's been fin taking that to lunch and he's gonna finish that for his lunches. Uh, what else do we have in there that we need to use? I've got some, but there's some beef. I've got some bananas here that I need to go ahead and process for the freezer. Um, I told the kids we might need to make some banana bread, um, just some regular banana bread that, that we can make and people can take home on Saturday because we have these bananas, right? And I think we do have some cake mixes up there. We can make banana bread with cake mix. I don't think we have yellow. We might have something else. We have chocolate. We have devil's food. We could do chocolate. We can do devil's food with chocolate. We have that. We can add in chocolate chips because we've got chips up there we need to use. Oh, we about to do the things. So we're going to make some chocolate, some chocolate, chocolate chip banana bread. We're going to go ahead and get those done. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put those in the fridge because it's only gonna be Thursday, Friday, and then people will be here Saturday, so two days, because we're gonna try to get some stuff done tonight if we are able. And then that will be, that we'll get rid of those. We're just gonna try to make sure that we don't have a lot of extra hour food. So again, we're having a clean out the fridge week to make sure that we um, have everything taken care of. I've got sausages in there that I've been eating for breakfast, it's sausage and eggs with uh, mushrooms and spinach and that type of thing because I'm doing a keto week. I will eat on Thanksgiving. I, I will eat on Friendsgiving. Probably won't eat a lot, but I'll eat something just so people will not feel, well, why is she not eating her own food, right? I'll eat something. My sister's doing the mac and cheese for me. She volunteered because of, I only have the one oven. Okay, y'all, pray for me, right? I am praying that the Lord would bless me with an upgrade of my house, not my home for me and the kids. When the Lord sends my husband, praise God, that we're going to have a double oven. I need a double oven plus another. I need that Becky situation. Becky got a double oven on the wall. Then she got another oven over here where the stove is. Like, I need that in my life because I got a lot of stuff I need to cook. And I need to be able to put the things, right? The things. Yeah. And then when I have grandkids, right? Like, when my children get married and have children and they come to Honey's house, I need to be able to have, like, be in the kitchen and doing the things, 
So I'm saying y'all pray, pray with me in agreement. So I'll do, um, but, but because I'm limited on stove space, my sister's going to do the mac and cheese. She thought she had to work. She is actually off. So that's going to work out so very well for us. The other thing is I have one sister. She's bringing rolls. What is it, babe? One sister's bringing rolls which I asked her to bring rolls. I told her she didn't have to get any special kind because we can doctor those babies up and put them in the oven with a little butter and all the things, a little seasoning, and bam, it's going to be great. I have another friend. She's bringing drinks. Alana's going to go to her work and pick up some pastries. And so we're going to have an array of things, right? All the things. I just want my house to be full. I want it to smell like Thanksgiving. I want it to smell like love and home and all of the good smells we're gonna do some um tea some lemon tea that's our contribution um i've got to get some ice because i don't have an ice maker in my freezer but i'm gonna get some ice and it's all gonna be well so anywho we're not planning a big anything really for us and again next week we're probably gonna have a lot of thanksgiving leftovers so we'll be making um uh, uh making mashed potatoes as well so we're gonna be making um and gravy we're going to be making of course the instant pot will be doing the potatoes i'm going to actually have the yams we're going to go ahead and get those all cut up on friday night we're going to soak those in water so that they do not um go brown my potatoes we're doing mashed potato skin on and we're going to do the whole eight pounds that we have we'll do a couple rounds in the instant pot i'm having every conceivable um, every conceivable appliance working for me. So I have the stove going, the oven will be going, instant pot, crock pot here, crock pot there. I might have a crock pot here. If I need to and get desperate, I'll put a crock pot in the laundry room because we don't have any laundry in there. And if we do, we'll just put that in, the, in my closet. If we have unfolded laundry, I'll throw it in mom's closet. And um, I'll clean off a space on top of the dryer to put... A crock pot there if I need to or to make that a holding station for things like maybe that's what I do I make that a holding station for extra plates extra silverware all that type of stuff so that we have a place that if I run out of something I'll be able to make that like st uh, uh, station central where I can grab things we're actually gonna move the boots and shoes and stuff out of here we're gonna move Acro's bowl in the room where he will be because he will not be out. Acro is not able to be around a lot of people. He just does not do well. And so um, he will be comfortable in his own space. Uh, Ma'am is fine with being out, but some people are not comfortable with her. So we are going to put all the dogs away where they will have their own personal space and be comfy. And then my guests won't have to navigate dogs, right? And then we don't want to have any dog fluff flying around. Um, so we are going to give the kitchen another good once over to make sure that um, anything that is in the atmosphere has been sucked up by the, uh, you know, by the vacuum cleaner. We're going to do a Clorox wipe down before I even start cooking. And then we'll do the floors again, just to make sure. Uh, this kitchen table will be a hold for different items that are done. And then what we'll do is probably have uh, just around the counters is where food will be. We'll actually put some chairs to this other table that we're using as a prep table for now, just to make sure that we have enough spaces for people to sit. People are free to sit anywhere. It's no problem since we now have the floors, we can mop floors if we need to. It's no problem, but we'll spend a lot of time over the next two days just getting the house in ship shape order, making sure that we have uh, hospitality for our for our friends and our family. And it's going to be so good. My, I've never cooked for my dad's side of the family. My grandma always cooks. My grandma cooks everything and it's all good. Oh, we have green beans and green and greens. I need to write that down. Do I have it on here? I do have it on my list. Okay. The one thing I did not get was smoked meat. I'm going to go to Piggly Wiggly tomorrow. And just pick up a little, you know, a little something. A little pork butt. I mean, like a little turkey butt or something. I'll pick that up. And we're going to live our best life. But it's going to be all well. So, anywho, there it is. I do appreciate you all so much for stopping by. If you like this video, thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have not gotten your turkey deals, go out. The reason why I try to keep my grocery hauls current to the week's 
of the sales is because some people do follow the sales. So if you're in here, if you're in North Carolina, and you have a Harris Teeter, it is 29 cents a pound with a $40 purchase. That's the Harris Teeter brand turkeys, 10 to 24 pounds, 29 cents a pound with an additional $40 purchase. So listen, get those deals where you can. Um, we're getting ready. I'm going to get started on some banana bread so we can get that in the oven. The kids and I are going to go fluff the Christmas tree. We'll bring you guys along for some of that happenings. And then we're going to get some dishes and different types of things were, uh, uh, done. So we're getting ready to vlog after this uh, video. So you're going to see a couple videos. We're going to do a little bit, bit more vlogging, of course, um, as we are able. So there it is. Like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little bell and we'll see you next time. Bye now.